a lot of people use Amazon to do their shopping online and if you use their system, their system very quickly learns what kind of shopper you are, what you're interested in and channels things to you on, on that basis. And what's going on underneath the bonnet there, what's going on in the background is uh, analytics, uh, looking for patterns in the data uh, uh, that, that are personal to yourself. So Amazon have understood this, Facebook have understood this, Google have understood this, and they've all provided very rich personal experience to their users. Can we use those same techniques and apply them to um, modern learning? Um, and the answer is yes, it's called learning analytics. Um, that's an area that I'm particularly interested in, uh, that whole area of, 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 of applying the techniques that Google, Amazon and Facebook understand so well, but applying it to post-16 learning. The Janet Network, um, when it started in the mid-1980s, was globally unique in the way that it joined up all of the um, research universities in the UK. That coincided with the start of my own higher education journey, um, and I always made great use of that, that facility through my undergraduate and um, uh, my doctorate. Um, and then as I was starting my career, it was just at the time where the networking technology was really brought together through the creation of JISC with digital resources, content, uh, and the library community. And that synergy is something that JISC has continued to, to, to build on until the modern day. As my own career has progressed, I've always taken a strong interest in JISC, um, been an enthusiastic participant in, in, in a whole range of projects. As Chief Innovation Officer for JISC, JISC had just gone through a change um, where it had been asked to, to concentrate more on being a solution provider. Um, my role, quite simply, was to come up with um, new national scale digital solutions uh, for which there was a real demand from universities and colleges and real consensus from our stakeholders that those were worthwhile areas for JISC to work in. What specifically led us to adopt learning analytics? Um, well actually there were, t there were two things. Um, one was that people were asking us to do it. We were in a very um, extensive uh, consultation called co-design where we talked to all of our stakeholders and the, the one thing they all asked us to, to, to do was learning analytics. But the second thing was that it, it did actually make sense for us to be doing it. Um, so historically, um, JISC has been best known for the, for the Janet network, and that continues to be the basis, the digital foundation on top of which we build all of our services. We're also known for things around digital content, JISC collections. Um, doing something in this learning analytics space in a world that's increasingly analytics driven um, really made perfect sense for us to add value at a national level um, to what individual universities were starting to do for themselves. Of course JISC is um, quite unique in that it serves all universities and colleges in the UK, that's hundreds of organisations on, on quite a large scale. That really re does give us an advantage when thinking about for example a national service for learning analytics. Um, not just in terms of economies of scale uh, and aggregating demand and getting the best deal from suppliers, sure we can do that, but also doing something that's genuinely globally unique, creating the first national scale learning records warehouse where we're aggregating all of this activity data that, that, that students in FE and HE are generating um, and using that for the benefit of students and for the sector. In the pace of, of digital change, it's just getting faster and faster all the time and like the Red Queen in, in Alice Through the Looking Glass, Universities and colleges, they just have to run faster and faster simply to stand still. Um, JIS can, can help with that um, by approaching things at a national scale, doing international comparisons, providing national level advice and guidance. We can help universities and colleges. Our mission is to help them operate at the uh, global digital forefront. Um, it's not going to be easy, but we can help. We can really make a difference. Overall, the, the, the trend that arises from increased digitalisation is, is personalisation. So, fairly simply, based on data of how you use your bank, you end up with personalised banking. A uh, bit more complicated, depending on genetic information and things like that about yourself, people are predicting uh, personalised medicine. I, I also think using this very rich set of learning analytics data that we're now collecting in the, uh, in the learning analytics warehouse, we can look forward to a, a personalised education, both in the short term, in, in, in terms of um, presenting materials to, to, to learners in a way that particularly suits them, but also in the longer term, personalised learning pathways, a digital advice that sees the learner through from school to college to university, into their career and back into learning again, um, in, in through what would be an extended career process.